Hello, whoever you are. You just found a cassette tape hidden in my bedroom. Isn't that strange? A man like William Afton, someone so simple and plain, hiding a cassette tape. Why would he be hiding anything? Okay, I'm sure that if you're from around here, you've heard of the somewhat recent happenings with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Three cases of one, and one case of two. All of them adding up to the five missing children of Freddy's. That was me. I'll elaborate on that later. And, you know, I wouldn't really call myself plain, either. I mean, people really think I'm playing when they first meet me. Just, uh... You know, just a father trying to take himself and his, care of himself and his kids who tragically lost his youngest in 83 and supposedly just got over it, right? Wrong. I'll never get over it. And the fact that he died isn't the only reason. You see, Michael did it. Not, not a surprise, most people know that. But it wasn't an accident. He keeps saying it was, but he is a liar. He hates me, and he hated Joseph. And, you know, that's why Mike wasn't settled with being a failure, and how I love Joseph just so much more. See, so we tormented him, eventually killing him. And that that's why I didn't love him in the first place, not with my time, terrible kid. But now I hate him more than I ever have. He has done so much to hurt my soul in one day alone. Oh my god, Michael. Ever since he killed him, I've wanted to put my hands around his neck and just squeeze the life out of his lungs. But of course, if I ever did that, I'd get caught. I, I couldn't work because I was thinking too much about Michael. I couldn't concentrate on anything. The papers started piling up, and it kept fogging up my mind, and I needed a release. Then I had an idea. Hey, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to be Michael. It, it can be any other brat, as long as they're like him. Now, where do the, all of those children go? Freddy Fazbear's Pizza! Ah. So, if they like Michael Lee, they deserve it. You know. I went up there about four times, picked the worst kids of the bunch, then go back, and I gave it to them. I couldn't do much, though. They would start squealing. So, I, could, I had to make it quick enough to be efficient, but long enough to make it last. It was hell for them, but it was heaven for me. Then, I leave. Without the slightest bit of guilt. So, there you go. And now that you've heard this, you should know that I check this spot every day to see if this tape is moved. I've seen it so many times, I'll be able to notice even the slightest difference. I will know. So you better put it back, Michael, as neatly as you can, and start running.